So today we are going to explore polymeter and polyrhythms in a built-on life. First of all, what is the difference between a polymeter and a polyrhythm? In a polyrhythm, you have two voices playing the same time signature, but different rhythm figures. In a polymeter, two voices are playing different time signatures. So here I have my Ableton Live project. I have four channels and we are going to try to apply the same logic to rhythms in each. Let's start with the first one. Here in the first channel I have a 4-4 four, four bar. I draw a note in the beginning to emphasize the first beat. Let's go to the second channel. Here we're gonna do some triplets. So if you draw now, you're gonna draw four beats. To draw triplets, we're gonna use Command or Control 3 to subdivide the signature into triplets. So that's too many. We press Control 1 to make the subdivision longer. So now we have triplets. That would be according to our theory a polyrhythm. Let's go to channel 3. Here we are gonna try quintuplets. So, first of all, let's do the same technique as in channel 2 and draw triplet. But this time we're gonna draw 6. From these 6, we select them and we position ourselves in the middle of 5 and 6 bit and just stretch it until the 5th occupies the whole signature. Now we have quintuplet. Let's raise these two bits to make it more uneven. This is our second polyrhythm. But let's go back to the channels too and make a polymeter on top of the polyrhythm we already made. So here we're gonna make our time longer. So now it falls in a different place within the time. Okay, finally, in channel 4, we are gonna make a polymeter. And for that, we are going to make the signature a little bit longer. Let's just stretch it. And let's draw more bits. Okay, how does it sound with the main bit? Yes, and everything together. Okay, but now we're going to modulate a little bit the sounds. First of all, I want to randomize a little bit of the velocity of the beats. We go to MIDI effects, velocity, and we drag the effect to the channel. We decrease a little bit of the randomness. We do the same for the channel 3 and for the channel 4. Okay, now we're gonna do one more thing. Um, to modulate more the sound, we're gonna add an LFO to the 4th channel. With this, we're gonna map the frequency of the sound, so the frequency is modulate. Okay, something good. Now, let's add a little bit of delay to the channel 2.
also here in effects. Let's look for a crane delay. That's it. And we're gonna modulate with the same LFO also the dry wet knob on the delay. Okay, let's hear it all together. Well, that was polyrhythms and polymeters. I hope this introduction inspired you to create and practice these techniques. And see you next time. Go to patreon.com slash nuts and bolts. And thank you for your support.